the Amazon. Spread over nine countries and five and a half million square kilometers. This is the world's largest rainforest and one of the most biodevice places on the planet. In the dark of the Amazon undergrowth, a whole other world exists. With sunlight blocked out by the thick rainforest canopy above, this shady, humid environment is littered with decomposing plant and animal matter, returning nutrients to the jungle ecosystem. But the rainforest floor is also home to a surprising abundance of life. A staggering 90% of all the creatures that live in the Amazon are arthropods. A group of invertebrates with external skeletons. Arthropods include insects, centipedes, scorpions, and spiders. With an estimated 3,600 species of spider in the Amazon, one species is arachnophobia personified, the tarantula. Inhabiting the planet since the age of the dinosaurs, there are over 800 species of tarantula spread over most of the world. Tarantulas are the biggest of the spiders, and the biggest of the big are found in the Amazon. Here, tarantulas can grow to the size of dinner plates. Occupying underground burrows or tree hollows, unlike many spiders, tarantulas do not use their web to catch prey, preferring instead to ambush them. Laying in wait in their burrow entrances, Tarantulas are coated in sensitive hair that helps them detect prey, called setter. These fine sensory organs are used to pick up on vibration, identify chemical signatures akin to smell, and possibly even detect sound. This coating of setter allows tarantulas to determine the location and size of approaching quarry before they see it. The typical tarantula diet consists mainly of insects, frogs, small lizards, and even mice. The enhanced proportions of Amazonian tarantulas means that they are capable of tackling larger prey. When the victim is within range, the tarantula launches its attack, using its legs to grab hold of its quarry and paralyzing it with venom. Once the victim is dead, tarantulas administer an injection of digestive enzymes, liquefying their meals and sucking them up through straw-like mouths. Despite the tarantula's fearsome appearance, they pose little threat to man. Man, on the other hand, poses a threat to tarantulas through habitat destruction and the pet trade. Fortunately, in the case of the Amazon, all indications are that the tarantula population is continuing to thrive.
From the waters to the trees, the Amazon rainforest is a densely interwoven ecosystem and one humble creature is the true embodiment of this. Sloths are the most prevalent tree-dwelling mammals in South America. They are also the least conspicuous. Concealed within the rainforest canopy, sloths display a distinctive preference for the widely distributed Secropia tree, also known as the sloth tree. Sloths coexist as one with the jungle, to the point where their coat is a jungle in microcosm. Considered walking ecosystems, sloths' bodies are covered in thick coats that harbor their own animal and plant life. With the Amazon's almost daily rainfall and high humidity, the sloth provides a hairy habitat for moisture-seeking moths, beetles, cockroaches, and a specialized form of algae. Found nowhere else in the world, this host-specific microorganism has evolved with the sloth and is passed on to infants as they cling to their mother's fur. While the algae aids in camouflage, this symbiotic relationship also extends to the sloth's diet. As folivores, the sloth's main food source is leaves, which are not only tough to digest, but provide little energy. By growing and consuming their own algae gardens, sloths are able to boost their nutritionally poor diet. But even with a boost to their diets, sloths carry around 20% less muscle tissue than most mammals. Lacking the ability to make a quick getaway, sloths are at the mercy of Amazon's many predators. Predators like the jaguar. An expert climber, sloths can do little to defend themselves from this feline foe, but little is exactly what they do. Inactive for great parts of the day, sloths only move when necessary, hence the name, sloth. Often remaining in the same tree for years, when sloths do move, they are quiet, gentle, and slow, minimizing disturbance to the foliage and never calling attention to themselves. In this way, a lack of speed is advantageous. The sloth's economy of movement, leaving predators completely oblivious to their presence. In their own effortless style, sloths are masters of the Amazon but their success in the rainforest has come at a cost, with sloths unable to survive outside their specific habitat. As the embodiment of the interconnectivity of the jungle, to preserve the Amazon is to preserve the sloth.